Hi class, I hope you guys are all doing well. This past week I had to go and clean out the classroom and so that was kind of weird. Um, it made me a little bit sad because um, the way this year is ending, it's just so crazy and so surreal. And so um, I hope you guys know that I do miss all of you and if you ever need anything, please reach out to me. Um, send me a Google Hangout, send me an email, um, a private comment on Google Classroom, whatever you need to do to get in touch with me. Um, so I'm going to go over a little bit of what this week looks like. Um, so we are going to be reading 17, chapter 17 and 18 and 19 and 20 of Restart. So after this, we only have 10 more chapters to go, which is so crazy. And um, we're going to be focusing on two things this week that we've kind of already done in the past weeks. Um, but we saw that some kids haven't been successful on it, so we are going to revisit these things. So um, the first thing that we're going to focus on is conflict. We are going to review man versus self because that seems like the conflict that most students are struggling with. It's kind of a... Um, a weird concept to wrap your mind around. And so whenever you know like man versus man, it's going to be a conflict directly with another person. We usually think of fighting or arguing, but man versus self is an internal conflict. And so um, we struggle with these conflicts all the time whenever we're making decisions and things like that. Um, and so literature also uses man versus self. And um, Restart has a lot of this kind of conflict in it. Um, we constantly chase is questioning himself. He doesn't remember who he was and he's always like going over things in his head. Um, this week we're going to be looking at the character Joel and Joel is Shoshana Weber's brother, her twin brother. And, um, he just found out whenever we go into chapter 17, um, that Chase and Shoshana have been working on this project together. And so he he's just completely surprised because Chase is the reason why he had to go to a completely different school. So we're going to be focusing on that. We have an assignment that um, you watch a video and then you have to kind of you have to tell um, each side of the brain what's what is uh, what are you struggling with? If you were in this situation, what would be going on in your mind? One side, you would be like, okay, I need to do this. The second side, you'd be like, no, but that doesn't make sense. So it's that internal conflict going on in your mind. Um, the next thing that we will be looking at is figurative language. Um, we haven't seen a whole lot of success with um, students taking the figurative language quiz. And um, I have a feeling, I think, um, you guys are just clicking through answers. Um, I just really ask you guys to slow down. Um, take a look at the videos we post, the materials, the things, so you can um, so you can be successful in that. In that you're you're showing us, hey, I do know this stuff, so we don't have to keep revisiting. We can look at new things. Um, and so with that, we're going to have a Nearpod lesson. It's student paced, and so I believe you type in a code. And then you go at your own pace. It has like a matching game so you can practice. Um, there's videos to help you. And so, um, and then at the end, there's a quiz. That quiz I am grading you on. So make sure you do that Nearpod lesson, okay? Um, because I am taking a grade on that. Um, on Google Classroom, I have made um, just like a minor change. Under the like week of May, like this week is May 11th through the 15th, I put week four. And then last week I put week three. La the week before that, week two, and the week before that, week one. So if you're missing any assignments, look at the weeks and be like, okay, I'm missing two assignments from week two. So from week one on, I'm taking grades on. Okay, so make sure all the assignments must do labeled week one, week two, week three, and week four, that you get all those assignments done because I am taking grades on them and putting them in the grade book. I will have grades updated this week um, from what you did last week. And so make sure um, you turn in your assignments, get your work done, and keep working hard. Um, what we're doing, it's not busy work. We really are trying to get you ready for next year. Um, so remember, you are... 
two to three weeks away from being seventh graders. And so my grading, if you haven't noticed, has gotten a little bit tougher because I want you to be prepared, prepared for the next grade. Okay, so work hard. If I say write two to three sentences, I mean write two to three sentences, not just one sentence with a couple words. Okay, you will not get credit for that. Um, so just keep working hard. Remember, you're almost seventh graders. If you need anything at all, if you need help, please, please reach out to me. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye, guys.